a red-letter day. By persuasion, arguing, and a little gentle cuffing about the head, Taffy has been persuaded to take unto himself a wife. The first wedding on New Providence is about to begin. Keep still, Emily. How can I fix your veil if you wriggle? You didn't expect to find romance when you came here, did you? No. At least I expected my bridegroom to be a bit more enthusiastic. Oh, well, 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 where's the lucky man? Not in here. Now, permit me. <laughs> Thank you. If I may, experience, you know. Tying a noose round poor Taffy's neck. Ah, uh, he's not so bad, Gaff. Don't have a wife. Oh, of course not. I tell you, Taffy, this is a great day. An historic day. The others will follow suit quick enough when they see you happily settled down. You're setting a noble example. There. Now I must go and make sure the bride's ready. Taffy, today you become a hero. That's what I'm afraid of. Rubbish. Charming girl, Miss Emily, and completely devoted to you. Oh, stop fussing, girl. You're lucky to have a bridegroom at all. And think what it'll mean to the rest of us once you've set the example. There. How do I look? Lovely. Come in. Oh, the blushing bride. Charming. Charming. As the poet said, shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Mm, save all that for your speech afterwards. I wanted a word with you anyway. At your service, Miss Abigail. I just want to warn you, Lieutenant, if there's any funny business this time. Uh, funny business? No, oh, don't play the innocent with me. It was you who talked us into staying here, you and Dan Tempest. That's right. Mm. Marriages, homes, families, you promised us. Uh, that's right. And what's happened? In the six months we've been here, we've had no marriages, no families, no homes, only a row of broken promises. I warn you, Mr. Beamish, if this marriage doesn't go through, we're finished with founding colonies. We leave New Providence, all of us. Oh, no, 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 you can't do that. I mean, it won't be necessary, of course. I've just seen the bridegroom. I assure you, I've never seen a man looking forward to his wedding so much. There now, Taffy, that's very fine. I've never seen you look so handsome. Now, don't forget, Gath, bring him into the council chamber as soon as you hear the music. It's like walking a condemned man to the scaffold. Ah, it is not so bad, Gath, to have a wife. If you say that now, again... Now, on you two, take it easy. We mustn't keep the deacon waiting. Now then, Gath, you understand? Bring him into the council chamber as soon as you hear the music. Come on. Good luck, amigo. <laughs> Play it louder. Where is he? I don't know. Maybe he can't hear the music. Where is he? I don't know, but I aim to find out. for the third time. No, 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 madam, I assure you. Oh, don't assure me anything. I know what your promises are worth. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. No, 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 please. Well, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't, Dan. Gaff understands. Sure, I understand. Do you know what you two have done? The women have threatened to leave the island. What? Now then, how are we going to run this colony without women? You mean, someone's got to marry Emily? So it's sunken at last. Listen, amigos, I think you've got this thing all wrong. And I have experience. It should not be a seafaring man that marries Senorita Emily. A landlubber. Very good idea, Armando. And who? Where is the black heart? Where is he? Here he is. But he's got off the hook. And I don't think we'll get him back on again. You don't seem to understand. They meant what they said. They've gone to their rooms to pack. We're all agreed. We've got to keep the women on the island, and I've been thinking, Edward. 
Why don't you marry Emily? <laughs> Me? Why not, you lucky man? Well, I have... Uh, that is my commitments in England, you see. A dear, sweet girl is waiting for me. That's the first time I've heard of her. Hello, sir. Hello, lads. Uh, Sergeant Bassett. Uh, I believe Captain Tempest would like to have a few straws. words with you. A very pressing matter. Oh, me, sir? Uh, you, Sergeant. You uh, want a word with me, Dan? Well, now, Sam, come and sit down. You see, Sam... We're in the midst of a very serious situation. Now, none of us wants the ladies to run off and leave the island. Well, no. Life on the island without the fair sex, well, it'd be unthinkable. Yes. Such a pity about that poor, dear little Emily. Yes, yes, that's a pity. She seems a nice girl, too. Well, I'm glad you think that, Sam, because I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to draw straws. And the one who draws the shortest will marry Emily. You mean me too? Well, of course. You just said she was a very nice girl. Well, yes, I know, but I'm not... the only fair way, isn't it, Sam? Well, yes. Ready, amigos. Congratulations, well done, guys. Well, there we go. You mean I got to? Oh, I think the best man won. You handsome donkey. Oh, I don't think I really want to. I... I... Without the fair sex, Sergeant. You must see her right away, Sam. Wooer, winner, strike while the iron's hot. Oh, no, I mean, I, I've got to think this over. No time for thinking. <laughs> Come on, Sam. We'll all go along to make sure that everything goes fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then what happened? Then they grew straws and Sergeant Bassett won. Threw straws, did they? Sergeant Bassett, he's the one with the stiff walk and the loud voice, isn't he? I'll give him loud voice if he dares show his face in here again. I'll give him such a loud voice, he'll wish he'd never drawn breath, let alone a straw. I shan't even talk to him. No! No, let him come. Girls, here. We'll show these men they can't do this to us. Now, here's what we'll do. Clear everything away, first of all. Over there as well. Come on. Right, uh, sweets, flowers, and the scent. There you are, Sam. You've got everything you need. I need more time. Oh, nonsense, Sam. The prize is yours for the taking. Well, goodbye, Sam. I'll be in the Fountain of Youth if you need me. Good luck, Sam. All right, lover. Now, in you go. And do you remember all that we tell you to do? Is oh, think so? Well, do it then. And don't forget, we'll be watching. Come in. Good afternoon, Miss Emily. Lovely afternoon. Uh, may I, uh, begging your pardon, Miss Emily, present you with these sweets? Oh, how nice, Sergeant. My favorite. You're very kind. Uh, and Miss Scent. Oh, uh, and these flowers. I see you're admiring my wedding veil. You're a... Uh, oh, yes. Yes, that's very pretty, miss. I don't suppose I shall ever have the opportunity to wear it now. Oh, yes, you will. That's what I've come for to say. Why, Sergeant, what do you mean? Well, we... I thought... Um... Yes, Sergeant. You and me. Oh. Do you think, uh, Miss Emily, maybe you could, or uh, well, that is, I could maybe... Uh... Oh, yes, Sergeant. You mean it, Miss Emily? You really mean it? Emily means you may have what you deserve, Sergeant. And here it is. <laughs> I think 
we'll be on our way. Excuse me, is this your boat? That's right, ma'am. How much do you want to sell it for? Well, if I wanted to sell it, I'd sell it for five pounds. Hmm, five pounds. Can you buy another one for that price? Yeah. But... Right you are, then. Here's your five pounds. Put it into the water, girls. But, ma'am, I don't... There's nothing want... at all. You've made a bargain. Don't worry. Now, can you tell me, which way is west southwest? That way. Thank you very much, and a good day to you. <laughs> The situation has ceased being humorous. The ladies have gone. Yes, every last lovely lady has disappeared. Bag and baggage vanished. There's not a trace of them. I've had my men search everywhere. They can't just disappear. You gents looking for some women folk? What do you know about them, Tom? Well, they shipped out in a longboat, Captain. Which way were they heading? West, southwest. Keep together, girls. Keep together. We'll never get anywhere at this rate. Abigail, I'm sure you were right. It's the only thing to do, but... Do you know where we're going? Of course I know where we're going. To Andrus Island. From there, we take a banana boat to Jamaica. And then from Jamaica, another boat to London. All we have to do is keep our course west southwest. You sure that we're headed west southwest? That's what they said. And that's the way they set out. Andros, that's where they're heading for. I wouldn't like to row to Andros with a crew of trained seamen, never mind a boatload of women. Of all the adult brain female tricks I've ever heard of, this is the worst. Look at them. The wind's behind them, no, no, east, and it's freshening all the time. It'll drive them on into the Bahama current and then onto these reefs. I'll get the Sultana ready to put to sea. No, we've no time for that. We'll use a longboat, too. I'm going with you. You are? What for? Look, Miss Emily's in danger. I feel kind of responsible. You took a shine to her, didn't you? You really like her? Oh, there was something rather fetching about her, the way she sat there, playing with that bridal veil. That's the spirit. Come on, they've got a long start on us.
keep it quiet, Abigail. Do you think anyone's here? Well, I'd say the best way to find out is to go and look. We should be here, Abigail. Oh, don't be foolish. Ah, there's some cooking utensils. Now, we could light a fire and we could all use a meal, couldn't we? Right, then someone get some wood. I wonder who lives here, Abigail. Well, how should I... Just <gasps> who was you expecting, miss? I, I hope you'll forgive us walking in like that. We knocked, but no one answered. That's because there was nobody here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> well, um, and now that you are here, perhaps you can direct us to the harbour. What harbour? Well, I, I don't know what it's called. The uh, main harbour of Andros. Isn't this Andros Island? If you were headed for Andros, you missed it by a hundred sea miles. This is Dogtooth Rock. But isn't there a harbour here where we can get a ship? Oh. Well, in that case, I, I suppose we'd better continue on our way. You ladies looking for a ship? Yes, yes, we are. Sea passage for all you ladies would cost quite a lot of money. Oh, uh, we can pay. Well, well, pay us. We'll find you a ship. Let's see your money. Let's go of me, you want. Leave her alone. Out of here, both of you. But Captain Do as I say. Ladies, I apologize for the behavior of my men. It is impossible to find honest crews in the Caribbean. Who are you? Jean-Baptiste Crillon de la Forte. Frenchman, swordsman, dealer in all types of goods, and captain of the good ship, Belfort. <laughs> well, if you're all these things, why do you live on Dogtooth Rock? I do not live here. I simply come here from time to time to carry in my ship. Now, supposing you tell me what you are doing here. So, you are fugitives from those British clodhoppers in New Providence. They're not all clodhoppers. <clears throat> Ladies, in a few days' time, my ship will be ready to sail. I shall then personally conduct you to Jamaica. You are very kind, sir. We shall, of course, pay with what little money we have. There will be no charge, mademoiselle. It will be an honor to conduct you as my guest. Oh, but there must at least be chores we can do to help us pay our way. Washing, mending. You are too generous. We shall see. Now, I shall go and instruct my men that you are to be treated with the respect of which you deserve. Hide their boat in the South Cave. Take all the baggage up to the hut. And remember, for the moment, they are to be treated with respect. But why, Captain? I don't understand. Time enough to put them in irons when we are ready to leave. Meanwhile, they can be useful. Now hurry, before somebody sees their boat. Any sign of them, Danny boy? No, keep rowing. Where is your too kind? You've turned my poor bear rock into a veritable home from home. Long boat at sea, Captain. Head in this way. Clear this truck out of the way. Get the women out of sight. Lock them in the hut. Captain Lockport, what is the meaning of this? You heard. Get moving. I told you, I am a trader in all types of goods. If a cargo of women falls into my hands, I accept it. Gratefully. You mean you're not going to take us to Jamaica after all? Hardly, since there is a price on my head there. But there is a great demand in South America for strong women to sweep and clean and scrub. I shall get a good price for such a, an efficient cargo. Slave trader. Get them into the hut. Come on. Inside. Look, there's a cabin in that cove over there. Let's pull in. It's Dan Tempest and his crew. Looking for us. Get away from there. And Sergeant Bassett's with them, too. Got a word out of here. Well, 
welcome to Dog Tooth Rock, Monsieur. We're looking for a boatload of women. They've run off from New Providence. You seen any sign of them? This is just a bare rock, Monsieur. Uninhabited, but for myself and my crew. I can assure you we have no women here. <laughs> I wish we had. <laughs> what are you doing here? I am opening up a trading post here. You haven't seen a longboat at sea in the last 12 hours. Only yours. But of course, there are thousands of other uninhabited islands in the area. Is there any other part of this island they may have landed on? Any other cove? This is the only place where it is possible to beach a longboat. They could have drifted anywhere by now. I'm sorry I could be of no further help. Can I be of any more service to you? No, thanks. I guess we'll have to keep on searching. Come on, lads. Thanks. Where Thank is you. Yeah. They're leaving. Get away from there, I told you. Help! Help! Hey, hold it, Dan. Help! That's Emily's Help! wedding bell. Well, better go and get it, Sam. Men! By doing me the honor, miss, of becoming Mrs. Sergeant Bassett. I pronounce you man and wife. Sam. Take over escort to Miss Abigail. Excuse me, ma'am. Gaff will take care of you. I've got business on board the Sultana. Good morning, ma'am. Let's go a-roving and join the bar. 